Hi guys, it's Little Shoulder here and today I'm going to take you thrifting with me. It's a big hobby of mine that I've always had and I haven't done it since I moved to Florida because I don't know where to thrift here, but I'm dying to get a hold of some new retro games, old media, stuff like that. So I figured I'd take you on my little journey with me. Um, I'm going to be using this camera here, Panasonic Full HD. I just thought I'd share that with you because it took me a really long time to find a good vlogging camera that wasn't like $500. So yeah, this is what I'm using. I'll link it below. Um, my good friend Kia recommended it to me, so I'll also link her channel below. She's really cute. She does like anime reactions and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I'll take you with me thrifting today, I guess, and we'll see if we like videos like this. I don't really know. I uh, Retro gaming is a huge passion of mine, and I've gotten all my old consoles through thrift through through thrifting. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can find today. Also quickly, I just wanna remind you all to please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It really, really helps me out. So yeah, let's get going. The first thrift store that I went to was named Hope Thrift. I saw it for the first time a few days after I moved here, but I never had the time to go until now. I'm really excited to see what they have to offer. I was first drawn to this thrift store because it was next to a church called The Rock Church. This made me laugh because when I passed by it with my boyfriend, he made a joke saying that they worshipped Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I could not get it out of my head. After some googling, I found out it's a Christian church that worships through rock and roll, to each their own. Now that I'm inside, I'm shocked by how large this place is. I had no idea how far back it went, and it's stuffed wall to wall. The first thing that I noticed was that there was a media section towards the back of the store. I wandered over there to see if there was anything that piqued my interest, but I left empty-handed. Next, I went to their tech section, hoping to find an older console or a DVD VHS combination player since I've been looking for one of those for a while. Unfortunately, they didn't have either of those. There was a purple TV that piqued my interest, but I'm not in need of a new TV, so I decided it wasn't worth my $20. As I was leaving, I noticed a box that was labeled DVDs, VHS tapes, and video games. However, the only video game I found was a Tiger Woods golf game for the Xbox 360, and since I sold my Xbox 360 a few years back, it's of no use to me. Unfortunately, Hope Thrift wasn't what I was hoping it would be. Oh well, on to the next. On my way to our next stop, I realized I was getting a bit hungry as it was nearing noon and I hadn't even had breakfast. I saw a sign saying that the McRib is back, so I decided to give it a try. Once inside, to my surprise, they had a bakery section on their menu. I decided to try their chocolate coffee cake as well, since they don't offer baked goods in Connecticut, where I'm originally from. Once I sat down and opened the box to my McRib, I was disappointed to see that it was a complete mess. They somehow even managed to get barbecue sauce on my chocolate coffee cake. Overall, I'm not a McRib fan, but the coffee cake was surprisingly pleasant. I was really excited for our next stop, a thrift store named Treasure Hunt Thrift. I was drawn here by its name, as I was on a treasure hunt myself. From the outside, it looked pretty promising. The neon pink trim and funky lettering of their sign really spoke to me. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to record in the store. However, I did leave with 14 VHS tapes, totaling to about $3. That, my friends, is what they call a steal. My final stop for the day was Goodwill. I went to this Goodwill when I first moved here and wasn't impressed, so I wasn't holding my breath. Their media section was smaller than I was used to, but I finally found somewhere that had video games. Unfortunately, there wasn't much to pick from, but Prison Tycoon 4 Supermax caught my eye and I knew I had to have it. This game looked ridiculous, but I was excited to give it a try. Also, being a Disney employee, I noticed they had a courtesy wheelchair from the Art of Animation Resort, which aren't supposed to leave property. I just found that kind of amusing, like the idea of someone stealing a courtesy wheelchair from Disney. I don't know. I wasn't expecting to see that here.
There was also a Wii Fit board box, which really excited me. However, after further inspection, I found out the box was empty. At least we aren't leaving empty handed. So we just got back from thrifting and it's a little bit later in the day, so I'm sorry that the lighting is kind of terrible now. Um, but yeah, so from the footage that you saw before, we clearly did not make out that well, but I did get to add to my VHS collection that I did unfortunately have to leave back in Connecticut. So it was nice to, you know, get some VHSs and make it feel more like home now that I've moved. And I got Prison Tycoon 4. I have not played a tycoon game since Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was a child, so I thought that I would try it out. Unfortunately, Prison Tycoon 4 Supermax was not my cup of tea. It's been probably about 15 years since the last time I've played a tycoon game, and I did not remember the controls, and there was no tutorial that I was able to find. I spent about 25 to 30 minutes trying to figure out the game and really could not figure out what I was supposed to be doing, so I just gave up. Even though we weren't too successful in finding any good games today, we were successful in finding 14 new VHS tapes to add to my collection. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it, even though it wasn't really like super productive. Back in Connecticut, every thrift store kind of just has like vintage games and consoles like every time that I went. And unfortunately, Florida is not that way. So if you're from central Florida and you can recommend a thrift store or a vintage game store, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, please like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye.